Hi everybody. I am going to use the hair dryer, which I haven't done for a little while. Um, and I am planning to use the same colors that I used in my last pour, which is Artist Loft Deep Yellow. This, which is a gorgeous combo of Grumbacher Vermilion and Artist Loft Metallic Orange, which I just dribbled all over my fingers. Um, this is a lovely mystery iridescent fuchsia. And this is a lovely self-mixed, some kind of deep violet. And I'm gonna use my white paint. This is the same, I get this question quite a bit. This is the same white paint as this. They're both Dutch Boy um, latex paint with Floetrol and water. Um, I'm just, since it's a tiny canvas, I'm just going to use it from there. And so I am going to I'm not going to flood the canvas first. Usually I do. So I'm thinking since I'm not, I may be getting deeper, darker color. So we'll see. I'm just kind of going to do it a little differently. And it's really hard with a tiny canvas anyways. Um, because you don't have as much room to be creative. Did I say Prussian blue? I don't think I did, but it's Prussian blue. I'm just going to quickly toss the cap sort of onto those. And these little five ounce cups, five and a half ounce cups are on my uh, Amazon shopping list, which you can find if you click under video descriptions. Um, if you're on a mobile, if you look at where my name is under the video and there's I think like a down arrow. You'll see it on that. And also in that is the playlist for how I mix my paints. Um, this is a washing machine pan that I'm using. Those are generally, I get asked a lot of the same questions and it's generally, um, how do you mix your paint and where do I get the pan? <laughs> so, I get it. Well, I get my pan at Menards, but the exact same one is on Amazon. And since Menards is only in the U.S. Midwest, I can't very well send it to you. All right, I have a ton of white paint on there right now. So this paint may fly. Loved this corner right before it flew off. Arr! I wanted to stop it and I couldn't. 
Um, holy crap, there's way too much paint on here. Interesting. Did I just do that? I did. But that's kind of weird. But I'm actually going to get rid of that. So I put way too much white paint on here, which um, really kind of dulled the effects. But I love the soft look. Hopefully I'm not the only one that does because I've made quite a few of these lately. <laughs> I don't want them all to end up on my walls. I just find them so peaceful. I mean it started off with such vibrant colors that I really did think that most of that would stay, but I didn't account for the ginormous amount of white paint that I put on. Kind of makes me want to try it again. Somebody commented that when they see my hands on here and there's no words, that they can like see my brain thinking, <laughs> which is true. Interesting how my style has evolved and I keep coming back to the line, to the lines. Kind of thinking about getting rid of that part. Because it's kind of a funky color. Although I don't want to, I'm going to torch real fast just to make sure. Ooh, actually that made the purple stand out more and that yellow come out. I'm gonna leave this part. Because I think trying to remove it is going to be too difficult to then fix the rest of it.
And as I said, this is a level two canvas from Michaels, um, which I actually, as I've said before, I like the sides of it better than the threes because they're rounded. All right. I believe I am complete. I've got these ready as I'm walking back to get resin. I so love this one. That one and that one. The colors are amazing. All right. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. I'll fix up those little areas. It's so peaceful though. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.